Hello, my name is Julia Coleman. I'm a member of the Chanhassen City Council and a candidate for the Minnesota State Senate to represent Carver County. I wanted to take a brief moment to talk about some of the actions I've been taking to address the COVID-19 outbreak and then to present an action item for all of you that are watching this. So a little bit about what I've been doing since the outbreak started getting really serious here in the United States. Uh, as a city council member, I voted to help enact a state of peacetime emergency in Shanhassen. Now what this does is eliminates a lot of the bureaucracy and red tape that we typically have to go through so that the city can more quickly respond to the needs of our citizens and our city uh, as it's progressing. So that is a step that I took uh, wearing my hat as a city council member. Uh, another hat I've been wearing is as a member of the health innovation and care community. I work for an organization called the Medical Alley Association. And one great thing that this company has done is provide the first ever COVID-19 Resources Connect tool. What this tool does is connect providers who are in need of supplies with companies that have those supplies or manufacturers who are making in need goods uh, with companies that can temporarily change their output in order to create more of that in need good. So it's kind of a medical and health matchmaker, if you would. There are companies that are now making uh, hand sanitizer that used to be distilleries, t-shirt companies that are now making face masks, and we're connecting them with the people that need them. We're getting submissions from around the world, uh, offers to help and requests for help. And so that's been a great tool that we've launched over at Medical Alley. Uh, I work in public relations for them. So I'm also helping to make sure that accurate and timely information about the state of manufacturing and this virus and what the health innovation and care community in Minnesota is doing um, is getting out there uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, so that's another hat I've been wearing. Uh, another hat that I've been wearing is as a candidate I think that as a public uh, facing figure that it is my job to make sure that I am available to all of you. I've been hosting virtual town halls. There are more to come, so keep an eye out for that. Um, please join in, ask your questions. I'm always happy to address them. And I also helped to launch a resources page. So at colemanforsenate.com slash COVID-19, no dash, it's just colemanforsenate.com slash COVID-19, all one word. Uh, there's a list of resources for small businesses, uh, a list of local restaurants that are still open if you want to uh, participate in supporting our local companies, uh, information about the virus itself and a lot of uh, mental health tools on there. It's a great one-stop shop for all your COVID-19 resources. Um, so that's what I've been doing as a candidate. As a neighbor, I wrote an op-ed about how to be a good community member uh, during this outbreak. You can also see that on the COVID-19 resources page that I created. I've been participating in the Light the Night movement where you put a light in your window or your Christmas lights up to spread joy and light to your neighbors to let them know that you are there to help them through this outbreak. Uh, and I've also been buying local. A lot of my meals have been from local restaurants and uh, local shops to make sure we can support them Been making sure to tip extra. Uh, so I've also having been having to work out extra to make up for eating all that delicious food. Uh, but I've been really putting my money where my mouth is. And um, so yeah, that's a couple of the ways that I've been being a good neighbor. Uh, but now my action item for you is let me know what else I can do. I am here to help, whether it's as a resource, a friend, a council member, a candidate, or a neighbor. So if you have ideas for how I can help or what I can be doing, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can contact me on my website at colemanforsenate.com. You can email me, julia at colemanforsenate.com, or you can call or text me at 612-232-9974. Hang in there. Let me know how I can help. I am here for all of you. I take the servant part of public servant very seriously. Uh, so I'm all ears, and I look forward to hearing from you all.